ones are considered the quarterback of the defense, while the outside linebackers must either drop in coverage or rush the passer. With offenses becoming faster paced and more off script, you need linebackers that can both cover and get in the opposing team's backfield. Whether it is a strong, full rushing edge linebacker or a crafty, smart middle linebacker, every team could use one. Luckily, the 2021 NFL Draft presents two great linebacker prospects that may fit that defensive need. Micah Parsons from Penn State and Jeremiah owosu koromora from Notre Dame. Both linebackers are immensely talented with great instincts and ball skills. But the question remains, who is better? Hello, everybody. My name is Anish Gupta, and welcome back to the Cold Hard Truth podcast, bringing you the cold hard truth on everything football. Now, in today's video, I will be going over both prospects' strengths and weaknesses before finally pinning them against each other to see who truly is the best linebacker in the 2021 NFL Draft. If videos like these interest you, please consider liking and subscribing down below. It only takes a couple seconds of your time. And while you're down there, feel free to turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on football content like this. So without further ado, here is my comparison video with Jeremiah Wosu koromora and Micah Parsons. Now with JOK, one of his biggest strengths is his speed and lateral quickness, which helps him in coverage and when tracking down ball carriers. This play against Clemson. It's a swing pass, and as ATN goes to the outside, JOK immediately tracks him down and takes a quick burst for the tackle for loss. Another play. Now, if you watched my scouting report on Travis ATN, I highlighted how he loses sight of the football. But if you rewatch the play, just look at JOK and how he tracks down the QB's eyes going to ATN. He sniffs the pitch and immediately runs down the field to strike a hit. But he reacts to the ball rather than to ATN, and that allows him to cause the turnover and the eventual score. Now, as a former safety, JOK has ball skills that will help him down the field, while also having the speed to cover opposing tight ends and running backs. This play against Virginia Tech. The throw was a little late and a bit under pressure, but watch JOK track the ball and get to just the right spot to force the incompletion. He's able to keep his eyes on the ball while also maintaining his speed to catch up with the tight end down the field. He recovers and also has enough time to turn his head around to make the play. Another great aspect of his game is that Koromoa is a great open field tackler. He's got great reach and he goes for the safe conservative tackles. Against Duke, another swing pass. It's a one-on-one -on -one between the running back and JOK. Similar to the ATN play, he spies the QB, notices that he's throwing to the flat, so he dashes full speed and goes for the legs rather than upright, which is the safer bet. Just great downfield speed and awareness that will translate well to the NFL level. Now, an NFL comp that I wanted to make with JOK is Colts linebacker Darius Leonard. Both linebackers have a similar lean build that works great for coverage on short and long field throws. While I think Leonard is obviously a more polished linebacker both against the run and in coverage, I see similarities in their instincts and ball skills. Koromoa is fast and can track the ball excellently. This play against Pitt is a great example. Playing a receiver, he's able to decipher the receiver's motions and essentially run his route for him for the interception. Great use of hands to initially check the receiver, and his athleticism shines when he goes up for the ball. Now, a resounding weakness for JOK's draft profile is his size. His short and lean build allows him to be quick, but it does cause certain issues when he's taking on and shedding blocks from pro linemen, which can cause struggles in the run game. This play here. The runner is in open space, but JOK isn't able to shake a 1v1 matchup with a blocker. He's not the greatest at using his hands to move blockers, which can cause him to fall out of the play. Another play, he tries to tackle the running back, but he gets easily pushed forward from the first down. Now, this isn't going to happen all the time, but power backs are never afraid to go through you, and I'm worried for JOK's physical strength to keep up with these offensive players. Now, one last thing I noticed when watching film is that JOK is a little bit inconsistent on tackling itself, having missed 20 tackles on the season. Now, for Micah Parsons, his 6'3", 245 frame is perfect for the NFL level. He's got game-changing sideline to sideline speed with a sub 440, and he's a very physical defender. Take this play against Purdue. Parsons recognizes that the running back is going low, but he keeps his eyes on the QB and it's a beautiful open field sack. Great awareness and reaction time, and this is something that NFL scouts love to see. Another example of sideline speed. As the handoff occurs, much like JOK, Parsons recognizes that the play is designed outside and he sprints to make a great tackle for loss. Great ball instincts, and he comes at a terrific speed to make the guaranteed tackle. 
This play shows his physicality. Now, it was a good run by the Minnesota running back, but watch how Parsons holds his own with the Minnesota right guard. While the guard is able to push Parsons back, he actually wins this battle because he takes the guard out of the run play. That allows two of his defenders to immediately drag the running back down. Now, many linebackers will fall to the ground, but Parsons gets a great extension and is able to make it easy on his teammates. Another play here. Micah Parsons is so special as a blitzer. He gets in his stance and has those one to two extra steps to really gain that speed and rush the passer. It's a quick one to two move and he's got quick hands to bruise through the offensive line for the sack. It'll be a swipe or a spin at full speed and guards just can't react to it fast enough. An NFL comparison I would like to make to Micah Parsons is New England Patriots linebacker Donta Hightower. Hightower has a similar frame and can get to the quarterback with quick moves. He's a great tackler and plays very physically. Both are also very underrated in coverage. Similar to Hightower on this play, Parsons demonstrates a lot of patience and reads the quarterback's eyes for the interception. Great instincts and it shows his versatility in zone coverage. Now a weakness for Parsons is that he tends to play just the B-gap and it causes some miscues on play recognition. This play against Ohio State, he's locked in on QB Justin Fields and is trying to decipher the read option, but he's unsure of where to go, so he shoots right then left rather than waiting a second longer for the play to develop. This can cause problems in the NFL, especially in play action. Another minor drawback on Parsons is that he did opt out of the 2020 season, so there are some questions on if he can continue his early college success to the pros. We also cannot ignore his off the field issues. According to multiple reports, Parsons transferred high schools because of a fight he started, and he also poured water on teammate Isaiah Humphreys at Penn State's academic center, which led to an intense physical altercation. Now for the final decision. JOK is a fast, multifaceted linebacker that can cover like a safety, read routes very well, and he has excellent closing quickness that makes his ceiling for any NFL defense very high. But Micah Parsons has the better frame and overall ball instincts to make a smoother transition in the NFL. He can fit a 3-4 or 4-3 defense, plays with an unreal physicality, and his athletic upside is off the charts, which makes him the best linebacker in the 2021 NFL Draft. Now, as a Browns fan, I'd love to draft either of these linebackers late in the first round, and I think both defensive prospects will be off the board by the late 20s. I think a great fit for JOK would be the Green Bay Packers, who are looking for a cover linebacker that can also get in the backfield. Now, I would hope Parsons falls to the Browns at 26, who are looking for that run-stuffing defensive playmaker. So that is my comparison of Jeremiah Owosu-Koromoa and Micah Parsons. Let me know what you guys think. Both linebackers are great, and I wouldn't fault you for having either one of them as your top linebacker in this upcoming draft. Parsons just got the edge for me because of his strong build and unique physical instincts, but JOK's cover skills could work better for you. Please let me know in the comments below. I will respond to all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Anish from The Cold Heart Truth, and we will see you next time.